All right, so what is up, guys? Um, this is actually not Joel. Obviously, I'm not Joel for coming from Rough Outdoors, but he needed an intro and he forgot to film one, and uh, so here you go. Um, peace out, or peace. Catch you in the next bit. Um, yeah, obviously I'm not Joel, so yeah. Anyways, future Joel or Ben? Where is this right here? Okay, that's my G. Anyways, I was trying to find uh some beavers. Apparently, Ben didn't have any. I've got like three in here, four maybe. Um, hydrate. <laughs> Shout out to Luckers. <clears throat> um, anyways. This is his beavers that he's opening. Well, kind of. These are my beavers. They are not yours anymore. Um, anymore? I don't even know what color this is. Is that even what color it is? This is a mystery tackle box. I traded some trench hogs to Ben for. A bunch of baits. <clears throat> a, yeah. A bunch yeah. of different trash baits. I yeah, guess I say. agree. But not really trash, though, because they, they are good baits. They're just not Guggen baits. Yeah, Guggen just way um, too better. Way too better. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, when you fish Guggen too much, I way wanted, too better. I wanted to put a video up here because of us starting the other channel. And I didn't want you guys to be clicking over and finding my page. And you guys were just looking at a scholarship video. Because honestly, that would be very dull. And you'd be like, well, why is he making a scholarship video? I thought it was on a fishing channel, Real Life Outdoors. <clears throat> go check it out yeah, if you're check just out. watching here. If you Dawson. haven't seen it yet, it's going to be a pretty good channel. It's, also, it's in development. It's um, um being worked on, I was yeah, we, we, yeah, we're working on it. Um, if you guys don't know Ben's channel, if we can figure out how to link stuff, I will link it. I already down know below. how to link, so. Okay, yeah. I'll you, he'll, link it. he'll link it. I'll do it tonight um, for you. We'll do that. We'll do Real Life Outdoors linked in the description. Yeah. Um, um, <clears throat> and I'll have you guys just check that out. I'll we're, have my shorts channel in the description too. We're going to Cherry Lake tomorrow. Yes, Cherry um, Lake, Florida. I'll have my shorts channel down in the description. There's a little arrow. You go tap on the arrow. It shows everything down there. Scroll through that. Read some stuff because there's probably going to be a few paragraphs down there. I'll make Joel a description so you can keep in his notes and edit it. But that's what he's fishing. So tomorrow. honestly, I don't know how good the lighting is, but this I believe this the is a missile. Okay. The same missile jig with a Carl's Amazing Baits beaver and, trailer. And uh, we need to get a um, thumbnail for all of our stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, this for both is channels. This is 50-pound braid on my 7-foot Let's get a, four. Um, I'm open. Open. I'm trying to explain. I know. Just, so, just give me a right uh, here. This is a loose LFS, <clears throat> I think, it, yeah, uh, one, SS1XHR bait cast reel. It's a high-speed reel. Tin ball bearings, aluminum frame, stainless steel spool, stainless steel handle. Oh, also, guys, by any means, we're not pros. We just have good gear because we are very blessed. Yeah, we are very by blessed. God's faith and we are Christians. If you check out Real Life Outdoors, you will see that. Um, even though there's only like, probably gonna be two videos on there by the time this one goes up. Well, by the time this one goes up, there'll probably be three. This, because is, this an, is gonna go up later. This is an eight three to one ratio reel. This well, this is my flipping rod. I've got one more rod to rig up, and uh, <clears throat> while I do that, we're just gonna finish explaining a few things to you guys. This is a short video. This is just the introduction of uh, his channel. A short video, we say. Um, but we're gonna keep it under. Let's see if it's only ten minutes because we need to start the next podcast before it gets completely dark outside. Yeah. Um, but what I want to uh, tell you guys. Um, also, guys, on my main channel, I usually use on all our channel. I will use normally use a tripod, so it's a lot better quality. This, but we, here, I didn't bring a tripod. It's not usually with an so. iPhone. I apologize for the quality. I have not been able to go buy a GoPro yet. It's probably gonna be within the next month, and by that time, you guys will probably be seeing more uploads from me. And I don't know what Ben's going to be doing on his I channel. use a GoPro um, <clears throat> Hero. He's rich. <laughs> no, I actually buy yeah. all of my gear for fishing and camera gear. My family has never bought me. Mm, I, think I, bought, I think I bought me one rod. So. Yeah, so actually what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got here. What I have here, I have my Lewis Mock Speed Spool. Great place for air conditioning, by the way. Lewis Mock Speed Spool Reel, 15-pound fluorocarbon-ish stuff. It's like a Coke polymer fluorocarbon mixture it's actually a really good line i really I'll like show you it now we're right there yeah um and this actually. is a mock loose mock one speed stick That's 610 what I have on medium heavy yeah i just bought him that one uh, uh well i've paid you back but yeah. i've got a four alt because he lives in about austin and uh we don't all, i don't always get a good debate store. I, yeah. wow i just gave away your four, you know four alt uh mustad hook I, uh, being, i'm not worried moves. about um, okay anyways watermelon red cinco he lives somewhere and I live somewhere. <clears throat> We're pretty far apart, like an hour and a half, almost two hours apart. But yes, I do. Kind of. I do. So um, he does get stuff. I do buy a lot of stuff in Valdosta, Georgia. If you guys want to know, but no, unless you know me, you're not going to find out where I live probably ever because I like my privacy. But we all do. I'll show you this real quick on my channel. This is a pin fierce rod. 
my uncle gave me this because the rod, I had this reel on before, broke this one, I want special reel. My two PB bass, I had one that was 811, caught on this reel, and I had my other PB, 11 pounds, six ounces, yes. If you, you don't believe right. us, we'll show you. If you don't believe it, yeah, we'll figure out how to put a picture up there. But yes, that was on this reel. Actually, the 11.6 was caught on this rod and this reel. 20 pound braid. I've got just a single. Let's just show you guys. He has all of these nice bait casters. All of these nice bait casters. And his PB, 11 pounds, 6 ounces, is caught on this. Caught on this Walmart special reel. Yeah. Yes. Um, but this is a, I believe this is a one alt octopus hook, if I'm not mistaken. Because we might be fishing some live shiners tomorrow. Might. We will. Bass. Yeah, uh, I'll, will. This, that'll be on our real life mm -hmm. adventures, our yeah. outdoors. You can go down there and go down the description. If it is there, if Joel figures it out, if I'm not here to do it for him, you can go down there and um, tap the link and I'll take you to our main channel and you will see our newest video if this is, doesn't come up first. So. Yeah. so this is my Lose BB1. Just bought this. Very, very nice reel. So fair amount of money. More than I normally pay for them. But you know what? If it performs good, it'll be worth it. Um, this is actually a seven one. He's one. sponsored by Miller, and what's no, the not, other uh, one? Traeger Grills. Traeger. Yeah, hundred percent. Totally. Um, and this is a Daiwa RDX rod, seven foot, medium heavy. His I favorite love, rod. Love, love that rod. His anything. favorite rod. Get it? Favorite rod. Favorite rod. Favorite rod. Favorite. favorite rod. His favorite rod. Um, I've actually. Yeah, sorry. And that one's got fifty pound braid on it as well. This has got fifty pound braid. So probably about a six foot, medium heavy to heavy action rod. The tip was broken off of this, and my neighbor gave it to me because he didn't feel like fixing it. Gander Mountain Vortex rod. Again, one speed of his spool. favorite rods. Yeah, I really do like this rod. Uzmok Speed Spool again, and you'll probably hear me say this one times. This is, for $100, this reel could not be beat. It was insane how good these reels are. Also, but, um, if you want to see all my reels, these are all mine, I'm not going to show you guys at post. Go to the Real Life Adventures and, and, and Real Life Outdoors. Those are going to be Real Life Outdoors. His will be too, but... Yeah. And this is Swim Jig, of course. Got a little Strike King so, bug on there. Um, the other guy that's in this channel, his name is Philip. He fishes Abu currently, but we're getting him into lose, and we he's starting turn, to fish. We are, he is realizing the he's light. He's turned the over light. to the light. The, 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 what do they call it? The light side? I the guess dark so. side. Not okay. From, he's coming from the dark side. He's coming um, from the dark side. No, we are not Star Wars fans. So, apologize to those of you who I are. I like Star Wars. We're thinking we're butchering it up. Okay, well, he does. Um, this is my Ducket Silverado 7-foot medium Ducket spinning Silverado. rod. Oh, it's actually a very nice rod. It is actually. It looks um, super nice. Yeah. Clean. Got my loose speed Beautiful. spool or speed spin. Speed spool. Speed spin. Uh, pardon. Uh, <laughs> 20 pound Power Pro braid, of course. All my braid is Power Pro. So is mine, and, except one of my reels. But, and then I've got this little Rick Pun special crankbait on here. It's like, a, it's like a translucent sexy shade. I cannot remember the color. If I find it, I will put it somewhere on the screen right now. If I find it. If he finds it, probably won't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, we get these but, from one of our bait and tackle companies, or not our company. Uh, let me we, let me go ahead and tell you guys. You if guys you up. are you in the Valdosta, Georgia area, if you ever go through there, you need to go to a place called Fishing Tackle Outlet because honestly, that guy has the best stuff you'll ever find. It's a local the store. Definitely best price. Guarantee Way better. You. I'm telling you guys. You guys are always like all these big channels. I've seen it on, on a lot of big channels. Oh, you know. Bass Pro is a really good place. I love Bass Pro. Academy is a great place. I hate Academy. That's a story for a different day. But out of all the big, big companies I've been to, they cannot compete with the prices <laughs> of the man at Fishing uh, fish Tackle Outlet. Y'all need to go check him out. Big. He carries a lot of loose stuff. I will stuff. show you guys something. Shimano. Dial. This combo right here, this is mine. Personal. Big that, caster. That rod is probably that worth like rod 60 bucks. is worth probably... 70 80 dollars 60 you think 60 70 80 something ish i got that for 30. yeah that rod is he sold, he sold he's he he's by the time this video goes up he will probably be sold out but probably. just to let you know he does do really good deals let me go ahead and tell him this and then we'll, we'll send him away uh, <laughs> shakespeare contender rod this is the only shakespeare rod i have right now i, I only believe. have one as well this uh, one right here got it's a five foot ultralight both of our ultralights are shakespeare pound, six pound line with a fluger trion spinning reel on it and this is a uh, for speckled perch set up because we're hoping to get into some of those tomorrow i think it's a number four hook two little split shots about two feet under a cork i said this in real life outdoors i'm gonna say here this is not a bobber this is a cork if you don't like it still just subscribe please if you want to. yeah just drop that down below okay. go subscribe hit yeah, a hit subscribe. the like button and turn on bell notifications please so you never miss another episode of what is your youtube channel name joel cole pepper you need to turn because it so you can turn it to i really channel. i really need to change the name but i wanted to do it like that because like i said 
put a scholarship on here. But anyways, I think you're done with that. I don't know if I got it or not. We might update you on that if I think about it later. I might not. It's, I'm real busy right now. Life is real hectic. But we will see you guys later.